Well, today is March the 22nd, I believe. Just got here, uh, Northwest River, uh, around 5 a.m. And this is going to be the start of a hope to be a very successful hunt. Going after Parmigan. I like to get my daily limit of 25. Get the screw warm up there a little bit. And then I'll be hitting that away. Get my snowshoes. Well, just got the makings for a large day here in the big land. Uh, heading on in the back country there. Uh, I actually planned to come out this way the other day. I never, because I got the maybe limited parent can come quick, so I just came on back out the river. But I had planned to come on out through this, this country here and uh, meet up with the groomer trail on over that way. But uh, I'm just going in the way I planned to come out, but uh, I'm after Parmigan, but I'm going to keep a real good eye out for uh, Porcupine Sign. Uh, I want to get on in there in those valleys and that. I was hunting the valleys on the other side of the river the other day, but these little valleys and ravines, when she gets in there a little deeper, uh, I think I'll get a few Parmigan in there. So uh, so anyway, enough chatter. Let's let's get in and see what we can find. I was just over right there, but I want to show you this. This, this landscape is pretty uh, deceiving, you know? You got a lot of these like deep ravines and valleys and stuff. And sometimes you gotta loop around uh, long ways, you know. Uh, you know, it's kind of steep on the sides and stuff. I don't go frig around that too much, getting stuck in that. But uh, I just wanted to show you that, like, uh, you know, when I when I showed you over right there, you know, it looked like all oh, pretty flat country, but you got these uh, these ravines and places like that. So, so it was a little trickier country to travel than uh, what you might think, you know. Uh, but anyway. I don't think I'm gonna to try to get across that one. I'm gonna to try to find my way up around there. I see a really old porcupine cutting there, but you know, when you see these old signs sometimes, usually it's a good place to you might run across some fresh sign as well because uh, porcupines, like a lot of other animals, use some of the same places year after year after year, you know? Well, never fired a shot yet. Uh, that hill there is kind of like a land, landmark for me. Uh, Kind of hidden that way. I want to check those jokes over there for porcupine sign and stuff like that. But uh, you got like a lot of altars in that line of the edge here. I'm going to go up around and see is there a parmigan up along, along the side of this hill here. And just have a little look around and probably work my way that way then. But uh, yeah. But this time of year, you know, uh, 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 this time of year, you know, the parmigan gather up a bit. So wherever they're to, you know, they could be in bigger companies. I must say, just to come up here for the view was worth it. And that's where I killed them at the other day. And the other, there's Mulligan River on up this valley here. I killed them on the other side on in that way the last time I was hunting. But I'm on this side of the river now. And uh, I pointed out this hill, you know, in that last video, hunting, pardon me, you can hunt video. And see that tree? That's the old seal on down that way there, look. When I was coming in through, I killed a few deer by the old seal and come on up the river and branched off and went over there. and. And that ridge land there, Sabby, is on over on the other side there. But like I said, today I'm hunting this side. And just look, there's a lot of open country where the forest fire swept through, and there's all kinds of drokes and woods to look around for a porcupine and and hopefully get a few parmigan. Uh, yeah, like get a few more. I've had another, another 25 day limit. Uh, I have enough in for the summer. I'd be really happy with that. Job to see, but the river is actually. Well over on the other side there, just behind them woods there, like, and goes on in through there. There's a little branch off one that goes in the other way there, but... I think if I saw porcupine cuttings down there, I might go for them, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like some old sign on over there, though. Gosh, I don't want to look too hard for you to see some. Tracks on over there everywhere, on up a line there. This here now might have been yesterday's tracks, it was really fresh back there, so... I got a feeling if he finds them, it's going to be in a, a pretty big company. Footings on, down around here everywhere, and up through here, and up on the side of the hill there. A lot of sign around, but, but where are they? <laughs> Man, him. must be close to them somewhere. And there's more flying up, more down right here. There's four deer more there, just on top of the trees. Oh, and on over there further again. If I can get over there somewhere kind of quite. I'm not frightening, I'm gonna put my snowshoes on walking through. Here, the 
tops of the trees are full in there. And there's a few up this way too, so so you mean it might be only one shot and it could be out might all fly, so I'm not gonna try to get on in through there there when there's a couple here I can get. Hopefully I'll get those and the recipe's a bit quite and uh, but anyway we'll go for those and we'll take it from there. But I think it's the most I've ever seen up right up and high in the tops of birches and stuff like that before. Look at that. And I think we've got a link sign around there. Maybe the the links got them spooked a bit. Hear him? And look up there everywhere. You can't see they're kinda of behind those trees. There obviously there's one, two, three. This tree right there, another one right there, four, and then, then there's I don't know. 40 or 50 over that way for sure so, so. I was going to say earlier that the snow <laughs> settled down much easier for getting around on a skidoo anyway but you're still going to need your snowshoes <laughs> yeah. never got a shot off I'm talking about wild I don't know where he went to never got a good look at where he went oh you're talking about wild where did he go Man, oh man, that's worse all the big companies, right? Still a couple way up there in the trees, just saying, but yeah, I'll never fly, but hell of a bunch went that way. And a small few went up that way. Now the main bunch was in them alders, or birches and that over there. And I come along there and never seen any, and I seen a couple fly up, and he pitched over on that neck, just over that high hill on that bank there, look. And I see a big pile there. I don't think that's the main bunch. I think the main bunch went on that way somewhere. But there's too many here to pass up. Oh wow. I don't know. If I got in around there and the base of the hill and walked in up over, I suppose to, more likely it's only gonna be one shot, but uh, that's it, I'm hunting. I'm hunting. Man, there was quite a few here. I just saw a couple more fly over that way. I think I see a couple in Alters way over there. Hopefully uh we'll come across some quite ones. Well, I see two and some in the on up there too, La. Man, they're everywhere, but they're wild. I'm gonna have to go up there first. Uh huh. Well, happy to report, finally on the scoreboard. <laughs> Took a while, but uh, you know, still good fun. And I got a game plan. I'm gonna hit over there. I'm not sure how wild those are. And then go back around that hill there. And maybe up and line there, ridge. So I got a bit of, I got a bit of turf to hunt around now. So, uh, so hopefully we'll pick up a few and they might quieten down a little bit as day goes on. So. And the last one's fly from there. We're now out this way. But you can see, you know, it's a pretty tough country to travel. So I just come here. Sometimes, you know, you can hear them quite a ways away. I thought it was some over the trees, but I just think it's snow over there. I think I'm going to try to get up over the hill this way and work my way back down the line there. And see, can we come across them? Yeah, be careful too you see a get a rock inside the hill if you're going fast and whopping to a rock you know you could look at that this perch is up right there inside the hill sure oh god quite a few there uh-huh well another one right here go with the, <laughs> the daughter seven right here <laughs> oh that was sweet made up Made up a few fast numbers there, so eight and two is ten. So I'm gonna pick these off here now, and uh, I'm gonna have to backtrack a little tiny bit because I can't get down over the hill here. So, well, I can fish. My tom is tired. <laughs> yeah, uh, I usually don't kill that many, you know, to a time, but I uh, had a slow start to the day. I'm gonna get a few anyway. So, uh, so anyway, I'm gonna put them in the bag in the back here, and I put like, a little bit of snow in with them too to keep them cool. Well, just got two more, and the second one I fired at to come down long, uh, there was three or four here, I was looking, I seen one I fired, when I fired, a big bunch flowed up again, went on that way, so I'm into that big bunch again, 
So I'll pick these off, and now I don't know if I'll ever find them again or not, but you know, if I find them again, see, so might be able to get another half a dozen or so like that, right? Seems like they quitens down a bit after you have a have a couple of goals at them. But anyway, that makes a dozen. One more will be the hump. Save the battery, I guess. Don't know what's uh, what's come yet today. There's just so much sign around. You really, you really don't know where you're gonna run across them to. Could be anywhere. So you gotta take your time and just look around, and hopefully you don't uh, flush them up. You know. But uh, a lot of birds around. Hard to find, but they're around. There's one over there. I got one right there. My mitt's back there. 